celebrated royal chef Richard Corrigan doesn't appear keen on the idea of slaving away over a hot stove for Meghan. Mr. Corrigan has cooked for the Queen as well as other royals, many free of charge. But the owner of Mayfair restaurants Bentley's and Corrigan's told Richard Eden, Daily Mail's diary editor, some will have to pay. The chef said, I cook for the Queen free of charge, of course. And I'll cook for anyone, but let me just say, some people will have to pay. The acclaimed chef, who also previously acted as a guest cook on the Southwest round of the Great British Menu, has reportedly cooked for the Queen twice. However, he said he wouldn't deny the Duchess entrance to his restaurants. He said, I'd let her in the restaurant, for sure, but the Queen had the red carpet rolled out. Would Meghan? I don't think so. Sharing a screenshot of his conversation with the Irish chef, Mr. Eden tweeted. Hashtag Royal Chef Richard Corrigan says he wouldn't roll out the red carpet for the Duchess of Sussex Hashtag Meghan. However, it may not be an issue as Prince Harry and Meghan are reportedly unlikely to return to the UK anytime soon. Recent reports state that Prince Harry will not return home to attend a service dedicated to his late grandfather this month. The decision, which has reportedly been made by the Royal, was tweeted by Omid Scobie, the author of Finding Freedom. He tweeted, a spokesperson for the Sussexes confirms that Prince Harry will not be returning to the UK for the service of Thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip on March 29. He does, however, hope to visit the Queen as soon as possible. The Sussexes have been told they will not receive the same degree of security as other royals should they make the trip home from the US. Prince Harry has said he doesn't feel safe returning to the UK with his family without the protection he seeks. Another news, Prince Harry's decision to miss his grandfather's memorial service means the Queen is unlikely to meet Lilibet now, a royal expert has claimed. Prince Philip died on April 9 last year and Westminster Abbey is hosting a service of thanksgiving for the Duke of Edinburgh on March 29 to commemorate his relationship with the Abbey. Harry released a statement about Prince Philip's service on Friday, saying he will not be returning to the UK and claimed he would feel unsafe after he lost his personal security following his move to the US with wife, Meghan Markle. That decision means the Queen, who has recently recovered from COVID, is unlikely to meet nine-month-old Lilibet, according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. I think this was expected because of the issue with security, obviously, he would have wanted to come if he could, he told. I think it's a great pity, what this means is it regrettable the rift will remain unhealed. When asked about the possibility of the Queen ever meeting Lilibet, Mr. Fitzwilliam said, it's increasingly unlikely. If they don't bring Lily over, then obviously that won't happen. It's all something that's clearly not going to be resolved in the foreseeable future. And it doesn't seem like they're going to come over. Prince Harry said in his statement that he plans to see the Queen as soon as possible, although it is unclear at this stage when that will be. Harry has been back to the UK only twice since leaving for the US in 2020 with wife Meghan. He returned for Philip's funeral last April only days after he told Oprah Winfrey of alleged racist comments made by royal family members about his children, without revealing who he was referring to. Two months later he attended an unveiling of a statue of his mother, Princess Diana, at Kensington Palace. The Duke of Sussex is currently waging a legal case against the Home Office over his security arrangements in the UK after his armed bodyguards were removed. He has previously said he would feel unsafe bringing his two children Archie, two, and Lilibet, nine months, over to the UK experts previously claimed Harry would have been given adequate protection for the March 29 event in Westminster Abbey, and during his stay in Windsor.